Revolution originates from the Latin word revolver. Although it was initially referred to as a celestial body in orbit, the 14th century meaning shifted to a sudden and complete change. Many of the recorded revolutions were largely influenced by the individual or collective choices made by the common people. I will name but a few. Hi, this is Kim E from itsnotso.com and you are listening to my article called Fifth Revolution. Thousands of political revolutions began out of greed, despair, anger or the poverty suffered by the common people and inevitably resulted in a shift of power and a transposition of land ownership. The first political revolution was documented in Egyptian hieroglyphs in ancient Egypt in 2730 BC. The degree of human sacrifice and torture and the extent of destruction and enslavement resulting from such revolutions largely depended on the position of power that was overthrown as well as the accumulated wealth, land and resources that exchanged hands. Contrary to revolutions that resulted in tribulation and displacement, some have positively improved the livelihood of humans. In the 15th century, the scientific revolution, also known as Renaissance, began after the rediscovery of ancient texts and the knowledge attained from Greek scholars who fled the devastation, the brutal rampage, rape and killings of the Ottoman soldiers after the fall of Constantinople on the 29th of May, 1453. The introduction of printing enabled this ancient knowledge to be widely spread. The demographic revolution, also known as transition, from mid to late 19th century, is a time when there were lower mortality and infertility rates due to the economic development that resulted from advanced technology. Improvement in education and an increase in the general knowledge of diseases, what caused them and how they were transmitted also favorably influenced this era. The happiness revolution, late 20th century, began with large surveys based on the happiness and well-being of people in various countries. This data, which has been recorded through the use of big data technology, has influenced politics, economies, medicine, marketing, trends and the social sciences. Opinions and feelings have become important. These surveys have subsequently revealed the influence a socio-economic environment has on the physical, mental and emotional health of diverse people around the globe. There have been three industrial or economic revolutions that positively impacted the daily life of the Western world. The first industrial revolution, also known as a mechanical revolution, from 1760 began in Britain with the use of iron, steel, coal, petroleum and the creation of the steam engine, machinery and factories. Standards of living improved, average income increased and the population grew substantially. The flip side was that factory owners became extremely wealthy, child labour increased dramatically, working conditions were gruelling and pay was very low. The working class lived in poverty. The second industrial revolution from 1870 saw the creation of synthetic materials such as plastic, lighter metals and alloys. The automatic operation of machinery led to mass production and assembly lines with the use of electricity, gas and oil. Transport allowed for more travel. Newspapers and radio spread ideas and news faster. The gap between the middle class and working class widened. Pollution was extreme and child labour had become a sad normality. Regardless of the century, common people have always suffered. Yet I feel that the economic revolutions from here onwards began to offer all classes of people opportunities through affordability, accessibility of diverse information and instant communication with the whole world. We not only have the world at our feet and our fingertips, but literally in our pockets too. How cool is that? third industrial revolution, also known as the digital revolution, 
gave birth to computing, the internet, global communications, electronics, cloud technology, and the accumulation and distribution of information and data. Focus has been on the development of systems around IT, electronics, and automation. In 1947, the first working transistor was invented, which successively progressed to become the digital computer. In 1975, the first home computer kit, the MITS Altair 8800, was released. In 1976, Apple I hit the markets, and a year later, the industry exploded with Apple II. At the time, arcade video games became a global trend. The first concepts of the internet were publicly introduced in 1969. The World Wide Web was invented in 1989 and released to the general public in 1991. The first handheld mobile, the DynaTAC 8000, was available in 1983. Nokia launched the first digital cellular mobile in 1992, as more 2G networks became available worldwide. The first smartphone was called the Simon and was released in 1992. The iPhone made its debut in 2007. According to Statista.com, as of July 2020, there were 4.57 billion active internet users, which is 59% of the population, with the highest penetration rates recorded in the United Arab Emirates, Denmark and South Korea. There were 3.96 billion active social media users. We are currently immersed in the fourth industrial revolution, Industry 4.0. Amongst others, this involves the use of smart technology, robotics, large-scale machine-to-machine communication, augmented reality, virtual reality, data exchange, blockchain technology, 3D printing, and the Internet of Things. The Internet of Things is when objects that have software, technology and sensors connect with other objects, devices or systems via the Internet. Examples are smart mobiles, smart TVs, smart watches like the Apple Watch, fitness trackers, video doorbells, Amazon Alexa, Google Home, etc. Depending on individual expert opinion, we are on the cusp of the fifth industrial revolution, 5IR or Industry 5.0. This revolution is based on the 4.0 industry technologies, yet will focus more on artificial intelligence, the Internet of Things, data exchange and the connection between humans, machine and technology. 5IR will positively influence our socio-economic environment and our well-being. Technology will take over mundane tasks and enable creativity to unfurl by offering diversity and ample opportunities for everyone. The digital revolution had such an impact on the whole world because people like Steve Jobs had a vision with the ordinary person in mind and not the wealthy businesses and large corporations. Digital technology has provided the common people with the freedom to communicate internationally and to share content globally. Social media is a powerful and extremely influential platform for all people to raise a voice against prejudice and injustice and thus provides exposure and solidarity like never before. One can acquire accurate information on diverse topics that were formerly reserved for educational institutions, professionals and the privileged. The compactness of devices allows for practical use during strenuous activities like skateboarding and serves no hindrance to extreme sports like mountain climbing. The compatibility between devices simplifies one's home office with a world of possibilities made available with a mere login. Like never before in history, any type of business model has become feasible with the possibility of exponential scalability and instant global reach. This would not have been considered plausible 25 years ago. 
A fun fact. It took over 2 million years for the population to reach 1 billion and only 200 years to reach 7 billion. According to Statista.com, 4.17 billion of the 7.8 billion world population owned a mobile in 2020. Almost the same amount of people do not have improved sanitation and clean water. In other words, the digital revolution has bypassed other industrial revolutions in poorer, underdeveloped countries. There is no denying that these technologies have affected and facilitated the lives of every generation to such an extent on both a business and private level that life without them has become unimaginable. Yes, it all sounds great, yet like all other revolutions, there are negative aspects to be taken into account. Data, security, external control and the intrusion on our privacy are talk of the streets. It is common knowledge that large, powerful and extremely wealthy social media platforms sell our data with neither our approval nor with our knowledge. To add salt to our open wounds, they use algorithms to strategically target us with specific content and paid advertising. Besides tactical brainwashing by successfully influencing our preferences and opinions, the already prosperous industry is further enriched while millions of its users struggle financial survival. As our awareness of the manipulation that influential people and powerful businesses have deliberately used against us grows, so does our anger towards the audacious schemes employed to empty our pockets to fill theirs. Sadly, I find that we have become skeptical and distrustful of everything. Of course, we also need to own responsibility for our personal decisions. None other than ourselves allowed these devices and technology into our lives and our homes. Through using them, we ultimately permitted to have our private spaces, our data and our time intruded upon as we bowed to the peripheral influence of our preferences, opinions and mindset. Do we have a choice? Not really. Not yet. It is also common knowledge that we are collectively exploited and controlled. Unless we choose a secluded life in the wilderness, the total abandonment of technology seriously complicates modern day-to-day -day life. Every aspect of our life, be it recreational, professional, medical, official, political or judicial, is digitally documented and subsequently controlled. The 2020 pandemic has made the citizens of the world aware of how much power they do not have, as enforced lockdowns have resulted in the financial ruin of millions of people and the drastic decline of business worldwide. The government's control of the mainstream media narrative and the removal of oppositional content from the web have angered many and awoken many more. Another revolution may be brewing, although I hope it is a gentle one that will bring with it massive changes, a positive shift in political and financial power, a complete change of the bankrupt banking system and a transfer of wealth that will ultimately reach the poorest of people. Let us imagine a better world, a world where there is no restriction to doing business when you want, where you want and with whom you want. A world where, through a simple login, the common people easily benefit from all the profit businesses make. A world that offers an artificially intelligent personal butler who not only keeps data safe, but relentlessly searches for who or what is preferred on a private or business level. A world where looking at ads earns money. A world where the definition of business and pleasure is rewritten. A world where the striving artist, the small business person, the teenager, the woman, etc. have equal opportunities. A world that closes the door to no one and invites everyone in. A world that is fair, moral and honourable, where common people are the focal point. Imagine no further. 
That world is here and is called the XS7 Virtual Reality World. That concludes my article, Fifth Revolution. Thank you so much for listening. This is Kim E from isnotso.com.